Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. History of Mozambique Mozambique, which is officially known as the Republic of Mozambique, is a country located in the southern part of Africa. It shares borders with the Indian Ocean in the east, Malawi and Zambia in the northwest, Tanzania in the north, Zimbabwe in the west, and Eswatini and South Africa in the southwest. Having a population of over 30 million, its population constitutes up to 0.4% of the total world population. It is a multi-ethnic nation, though not having many ethnic groups like other African nations. It has 10 major ethnic groups or clusters scattered around the country and more than 40 languages spoken in the country. But among the ethnic groups, the major ones are the Makwa, Songa, Makonde, Shangan, Shona, Sena, and Ndao. The largest of the ethnic group residing in the north of the Zambezi, representing about 37% of the country's population, and the major recognized languages being Swahili, Mwani, Chewa, Songa. Due to the diversities in the languages and ethnicity, communication amongst individuals posed a great challenge. This led to the adoption of Portuguese as the country's official language. English is generally spoken in hotels and other tourist sites to enable free-flow communication with tourists. The dominant religion in the country is Christianity, with 57.5%. The other religions include 18.3% Islam, 4.7% Jewish, Hindu, and Baha'i. The remaining 13.4% belongs to those who are unsure of their religious beliefs. The country was named after the island of Mozambique. The name was given to it by Musa bin Malik, an Arab trader who visited the island and eventually lived there. The island town became the capital of the Portuguese colony until late 1898 when it was moved to the South Lorenco Marquis. Earlier on, between the 1st and the 5th centuries AD, the Bantu-speaking people moved to the present-day Mozambique from the north and west. These people were ironsmiths and farmers. Moving down to the 7th and 11th centuries, Several Swahili port towns were developed there. This led to the establishment of a distinct Swahili culture and language. In the late medieval period, the people had embraced the life of trading, and this brought traders from all around the world, including Somalia, Ethiopia, Egypt, Arabia, Persia, and India. The expedition of Vasco da Gama around the globe in 1498 marked the arrival of the Portuguese into the area, now known as Mozambique. Then they began a slow process of colonization and inhabitation in 1505. As other countries of Africa were getting colonized, communist and anti-colonial ideologies began spreading out across Africa. Many political movements began in support of independence for Mozambique. The main concern of the political members was that policies and plans for development by the ruling authorities were focused primarily on the Portuguese population, paying little or no attention to the indigenous tribes and communities. This created a divide between the tribes of Mozambique and the Portuguese population, with the tribe members of Mozambique facing discrimination and social pressures. Many of the blacks felt they were given little opportunities to improve themselves and their economy when compared to the Portuguese population, and indeed, the whites amongst them were more well-to-do. The concerned members came together under a body known as Frelimo, that is, Front for the Liberation of Mozambique, 
and began a campaign against Portuguese rule in September 1964. This conflict was the basis of the Portuguese colonial war, which lasted from 1961 to 1974. The military tried to gain control of the population while the guerrilla forces aimed at controlling the rural and tribal areas of the north and west. After about 10 years of war for the independence of Mozambique, power changed hands through a military coup in Lisbon, which replaced the Portuguese rule with a military regime. Within a year, most of the Portuguese living in Mozambique had left, either of their own accord or by compulsion. Mozambique became independent from Portugal on the 25th of June, 1975. Soon after independence, the country entered into a civil war from 1977 to 1992. In 1975, an anti-communist group formed a resistance known as RENAMU and launched a series of attacks on the transport routes, schools and other facilities in the country. Both sides were seeking help from international bodies, though help was far from both sides, they continued the war. The then Frelimo president, Samura Makel, died in an air crash in South African territory and was replaced by Joachim Chisano. In 1990, the first peace talk was held between the two parties and they both agreed to adopt a constitution allowing a multi-party state with periodic elections and full democratic rights for all citizens. On the 4th of October 1992, the General Peace Accord of Rome with the support of the United Nations, negotiated the constitution and agreement between the two parties and it took effect from the 15th of October, 1992. There are a lot of tourist attractions in Mozambique, which include the largest island, Bazaruto Archipelago, which is an elongated isle in the Indian Ocean, Maputo, the capital city, Pemba, known for its beautiful colonial architecture, Gorongosa National Park, Kirimbas National Park, Island of Mozambique, and many others. The country is naturally endowed with varieties of natural resources such as rutile, zircon, tantalum, aluminium, limestone, and alminite, with coal and natural gas as the major ones. Despite their many natural resources, Mozambique is currently one of the poorest countries in the world. The government has been trying to revive the economy since 1987 by doing lots of microeconomic reforms but with little result. Like many African countries, the country still depends largely on foreign assistance for most of its annual budget. The festivals and entertainment in Mozambique also play a major role in the society. Aside the general New Year festival and Mozambique's independence, they also celebrate some other festivals like the Asgo Festival, Strab Festival, Tambo International Art Festival, and others. Their major entertainment is the music industry that holds a festival called Chopi Music Festival which kicks off at the end of July to August with concerts of various traditional Mozambican music and local choppy music recognized by UNESCO as a valuable cultural heritage. Their foreign relations have increased over the years since they got independence. They are a member of the World Bank, International Monetary Fund, and a member of the Non-Aligned Movement, and are among the members of the African bloc in the United Nations. Despite many challenges, Mozambique is a country with deep-rooted cultural heritage and love for its people. It is always a fun place to visit as there are a lot of tourist sites and lots of historic art to behold. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video.
share and subscribe to our channel.